My name is Leslie Bubella, and I have a son, Will, that has Dravet syndrome, and he is 12 years old. My pregnancy and everything was pretty normal. Um, the delivery was normal. He was a C-section a week early. For the most part, his infancy was pretty normal. I guess his first seizure, he was five and a half months old. He got hand, foot, and mouth. We noticed he was hot, and all of a sudden, he just started seizing. And so we checked his temperature. He did have a fever and we called 911. Mm -hmm. And it took over 20, 25 minutes to get his seizure to stop. I think it was full body, like arms and legs. Right. Yeah, so you were discharged from the hospital, diagnosed of complex febrile seizure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then um, a week later, he had his um, six month uh, vaccinations. Mm -hmm. And so. At that point, that day was fine. It was the next day he had another seizure. Again, like full body, arms and legs. We left there with a prescription for phenobarbital. So in that month, things just were out of control. Um, he started having seizures with every single bath. Anytime he heard a loud noise, it was a very difficult month. So a month later, we got um, the positive SCN in 1A. And is there anybody else in the family, Ms. Babella, with seizures or epilepsy? No, we don't have anybody in our family. No. Okay. And were you, were the parents, uh, were you guys tested for the gene and, and you guys don't have the mutation? Yes, we were tested and both of us were negative. How did he progress after that, especially in terms of development? Again, he wasn't that delayed at that point. I feel like it was when he should have been crawling or should have been walking. Mm -hmm. um, that was more delayed because I think he walked around 17 months or so mm -hmm. and he would babble, but um, it just took a while for him to develop any mm -hmm. words that you know, were meaningful. When he turned mm -hmm. three, he started qualifying for the early childhood school in our mm -hmm. area. And so at that point, he just got rolled into the school system. So he was getting speech and OT and mm -hmm. physical therapy. So it was just a lot of therapy. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I feel like he his progress is slow and small, but it's enough that he still qualifies for therapy. So he's making mm -hmm. little improvement. He definitely was showing more delay the older he got. There was just a bigger gap between him and his peers. Weaned him off the phenobarbital. And since then, he has been on on fee, valproic acid, and Topamax. And he has been on those three, gosh, mm -hmm. I think since he was 18 months old. And what types of seizures does he have usually? Is it always the same or does he have different types? Uh, you know, he really has a lot of different types. Um, mm -hmm. Like a full body seizure, it's been a while since I've seen one of those, but mm -hmm. um, more recently he's stared up into the side with one arm twitching mm -hmm. or um like just one limb or something like that it, does he have any other issues as far as uh, you know comorbidities as we call it so other problems that are associated with your vape but are not seizures he has some obsessive tendencies like he wears glasses and when he takes them off they always have to be perfect on the countertop and for okay. instance it's picture day at school and he had to have his buttons buttoned all the way up to his neck um, he's very repetitive. He eats almost the same thing every single day. Mm -hmm. Every day is like clockwork. He probably does have autistic tendencies for sure. 